Ace is the only televised companion whose departure from the doctor's company has not been definitively established in any media. Instead, there are a number of conflicting accounts. If Doctor Who had continued as a television series after season 26, script editor Andrew Cartmel had planned that Ace go to attend university on Gallifrey where, despite her human heritage, she would have trained as an apprentice time lord. She would have left halfway through season 27. Beginning with the novelization of The Curse of Fenric, spin-off media have put forward conflicting scenarios of how Ace finally departed the company of the Doctor. The TV movie Doctor Who did not explain, rationalize, or even address her apparent absence from the TARDIS. In the Sarah Jane Adventures television story Death of the Doctor, a reference was made to a former companion of the Doctor named Dorothy, who was running an organization known as A Charitable Earth. Sophie Aldred has stated that she does not believe that this would be Ace's chosen profession unless the charity was nothing more than a front for unit. However, this was eventually confirmed to be Ace in the Big Finish audio drama In Remembrance, which hinted at its conclusion that the organization was more than just a simple charity. This implication was later supported by At Childhood's End. At Childhood's End also offers a possible explanation of sorts for the vast amount of conflicting accounts by implying that contact with the Quantum Anvil has fractured Ace's personal timeline into multiple possible ones. Russell T. Davies revealed in issue 445 of Doctor Who magazine that he hoped to have Aldred return as Ace in the Sarah Jane adventures, both in the present day and potentially also in flashback sequences. The death of Elizabeth Slayton, however, prompted the premature conclusion of the series. Davies was later able to nod to this idea in some fashion for the webcast farewell, Sarah Jane, by having Ace appear as one of the many guests at Sarah Jane's funeral and ultimately departing the funeral as the new owner of K9.